In this video, I'm going to show you how to sort, filter, and search data within the AMA Top Product Analyzer. So I've just loaded up some data here from a data file that I'd saved on my computer. And you can see at the very top, you can see these drop down little menus here. These are the quick filters. And so to uh, filter a given column, all you have to do is just click that and you can select one of the pre-existing quick filters in here. So say for example for the main rank, you want to see the ranks that are greater than say 2000. It'll instantly filter everything out that's not greater than 1000 and you'll also highlight the the uh, row, sorry, the column green. So we can do this to multiple uh, categories if you'd like until you get what you want. Now if you want to see these filters, there's actually a filters window. If you go down to the filters button here on the, on the bottom right hand corner, click that and click show filters. Another way to show filters is to right click anywhere in the grid and go to filters and then show filters right here. And now you can see the individual filters we added. And as you add more, you'll see them just show up right into here. Now if you want to remove all the filters at once, you can actually go to filters, delete filters, or in the filter window here, you have a bunch of options at the bottom. You can add new filters. And when you add new filter, what it does, it adds another row. And then all you have to do is click inside of the column row got to click a few times before you get this drop down and you can select any one of the category any one of the rows here sorry the columns <laughs> and in here you have a lot more options than the quick filters because you can pretty much filter anything so say for example you want to filter within the title and then you go into the compare type you click in here and you want to see in the title I want everything that contains I don't know say the word the <laughs> and then we can go ahead and click apply and it will filter everything out based on all this stuff. So if you want to remove a given filter, just you can select the row, right click, remove selected filter, or you can right click and remove all filters. And one thing you can do as well is you can actually save filter files. So let's say you have a, spe a specific um, set of filters you always love using to pinpoint those products you want to you want to find. So let's say for example, you um wanted a filter that would have an opportunity score of, of always better than say 50. You can add a new filter. To add a new filter you simply click the add button at the bottom there. And you also want products that are say a main rank of greater than let's say I don't know 2000. Add another filter. I want the main rank to be less than, let's say, 50,000. And let's add another one. Let's say we want the ratings to be greater than 4. Now we apply, and we have all these products that are based upon our filters that we wanted. And what we can do is go save, and we can save our data filters so I'll just save it there and let's go ahead and remove them all and this is going to close the filter window and let's say you've downloaded all your data now you want to quickly filter this out but you don't want to go through the pain of doing that all again to finding all the filters you can just right click go to filters and load filter file right here or you can just click the filters button and load filter file and it brings it up and just double click your filter file and boom the filters are automatically put in there if you want to see the filters go show filters and there they are you can also open them up inside of here using this open button as well so different couple different ways of doing it so that's basically how you can use the filters and quick filters let's go ahead and just remove them all here remove all filters so it's pretty self-explanatory, pretty simple to use. Now sorting, sorting is pretty cool. All you have to do is just uh, you know click the top title of the given column and it will sort. But this software is capable of doing multi-column sort, which is pretty handy. So let's say for example inside of the rating, you'll see there's a whole bunch of products that have the same rating of five. Well, I would like to know 
of the all the products that have a rating of five have the most reviews. So all you have to do is first sort the row that has the same value, a lot of the same value, for example, the rating. Then you want to hold down the shift key on your keyboard and then you want to sort the next row that you want to sort within that row. So if I do this, I click again, still holding down the shift key. Now you can see within this set of rows that have a rating of five, it will automatically sort which one has the most reviews. Now if we go back, go down, we see what the next one is, 4.9. So within all the 4.9s, it'll also sort from lowest to highest and it'll continue on. So that's your multi-sort. And you can even, you can actually keep going. You can do as many rows as you want. So let's say within the rating that has five and also the reviews that have 10, well, I wanna know the weight, which one is the heaviest within these three. So we'd hold down the shift key again and do the same thing here. And now we can see that this one here weighs the most that has 10 reviews that has five rating so that's what multi-sort does now to get rid of the multi-sort just don't hold the shift key and just click any any uh, row header here and it'll just automatically remove that multi-sort and now how to search all of this instantly like sh search the um, columns that have text in them like the title the category and the main category you click the controls at the bottom here and then select instant search and right here as you type you will instantly search in those three columns here. So I'm not sure what this actual data set <laughs> contains. So I'm not sure what the search. Let's say uh, I don't know, candles. There you go. Instantly goes down to 100 from 300. So that's how you can instantly search within the results. So that's a really handy feature to have as well. Now another thing you can do here is you can actually customize the quick filters. Now, uh, we'll be providing another video on how to do that, but I just wanna quickly show you that you can do that here. In the settings, go to column quick filters right here, and you can customize the quick filters that are provided in these dropdown. Now, it's very important that you actually keep the formatting exactly the way that you see it in here. So the way that it works is you first have the, the name of the column a semicolon, a space, and then the word is only three words you can use here, greater, equal, or less, and then you have the corresponding uh, symbol, and then you have the number that you'd want. So let's go ahead and see if we can add one here. Um, for example, in the main rank here, let's say, um, I was interested in seeing all the main rank that's less than a thousand instead of a greater than a thousand. So all you have to do is just grab one of the columns. I'll just grab this one here. Sorry, one of the um, the lines here. So just select it with your mouse, right click and copy. And just underneath here, I'm just gonna hit the enter key to make a new line and then right click and paste. And then I'm gonna replace the word with less and you also have to change the symbol to the less than symbol. And now that we we like that, we'll go ahead and click done. And then in the main rank, if we click here, it should be added at the bottom. There it is, less than. So we click that, boom. We automatically added our own quick filter within here. We can go ahead and remove those filters there. And if you wanna go back to the defaults, if you, uh, Basically, if you mess something up in here and, it, and you uh, do not format it properly, don't you put some weird word in there or something like that, it'll just automatically go to the defaults. So we can go ahead and click defaults and automatically go back to the defaults. Now, you can actually save your quick filters settings if you want. It just saves it to a text file. So if you just save, you click the file button here, you can save to text file here, quick filters. And if we go to file and go to last working folder, that's where we just saved it. And modified, there's quick filters. You can see here, it's just it's just a text text file. So you can you can modify these quick filters inside a text file if you'd like. You don't have to do it in in the software. And make sure that you put a space between each each uh, row. 
sorry, column, I keep saying row. That helps the software identify the quick filters. But again, we'll be finding another video that explains that a little bit more, but uh, that's basically it for this video, showing you how to sort, filter, and search data within your data set. See you in the next video.